The resurgence of Robert Quinn is completely changing the Chicago Bears defense. What's going on guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears discussion videos where I kind of want to break down the play of one player in particular and that is pass rusher Robert Quinn. Okay, a very controversial figure in Chicago the last year because Ryan P signed this guy to a $70 million deal after a pretty impressive you know 2019 season he had with the Cowboys but his 2020 season with the Bears was extremely extremely disappointing okay he finished the entire season with only 20 total tackles six quarterback hits zero tackles for loss and only two sacks on the entire year okay for a guy that we paid this much money to you know be on the opposite side of Khalil Mack and finally you know produce for us be that long-term pass rushing option next to Mack which we really haven't had because Leonard Floyd was very on and off during his time in Chicago so we're really hoping that Robert Quinn could be that long-term solution with the money that we paid him but his first season was a complete disaster okay he fell off dramatically from the year prior in terms of actual production but also just looking at the film man he was not close to the same player he was in 2019 right like his speed was not even close to being the same I mean this guy was known to be a speed rusher more of a you know speed and finesse guy more than a power guy because that's that's pretty much the frame that he has right like he's a taller guy a little bit skinnier than than you say a Khalil Mack right so he's most likely going to be using his speed to get by an offensive tackle but his speed just simply was not there last year okay he didn't explode off the line like he did in 2019 and also his balance also was not really there okay you guys saw Robert Quinn was falling around a lot last year when trying to turn the edge or cut inside like his footwork was completely off um he was falling around a lot slipping around and it just you could definitely tell this was not the guy that we paid for from 2019 it's 2019 and, and before film was so just incredibly different than what we saw in 2020 and now in 2021 guys we are seeing more of the 2019 Robert Quinn because Robert Quinn so far in 2021 so in only four games he played in 15 games last season for comparison but in only four games so far this year he already has 12 combined tackles seven quarterback hits three tackles for loss and 4.5 sacks that is a resurgent year if I've ever seen one myself okay if not for Dak Prescott I think he would be up there as a comeback player of the year candidate now obviously he's not going to get it because Dak Prescott is a much bigger story with uh you know being the quarterback of the Cowboys and playing a more um important position I would say but still I mean to see this bounce back season out of Robert Quinn I have to really show him some respect because it's not easy to you know continue playing when the entire Chicago media the entire Chicago fan base is calling for your head okay all of Chicago they were clowning on Robert Quinn last year because he didn't live up to the money that we paid him but now we are seeing exactly what he is capable of and the type of player that he actually is and the, you know the type of player that Ryan Pace actually paid to get now you may ask yourself why is he all of a sudden having a resurgent bounce back year and I think that's mainly due to two big factors one is definitely the change in defensive coordinator going from Chuck Pagano to Sean Desai because I might make a video about this later guys just about Sean Desai but Sean Desai has completely just revived the Bears pass rush with all the stunts he's pulling with how creatively he's using even defensive backs to blitz the quarterback like he's using so many creative formations and you know plays to actually help our pass rushers have easier lanes to get to the quarterback I want to bring up this play from the game against the Browns two weeks ago so as you can see on the left side of the line Khalil Mack and Robert Quinn are lined up right next to each other I can't think of a single time that Chuck Pagano ever tried to do that but if you see what happens in this play so uh 71 75 we're trying to double team Khalil Mack but that leaves an easy opening lane for Robert Quinn obviously the Browns O-line messed up here but when you have Mack on your side of the line it's going to demand some attention okay most teams do try to double up Khalil Mack or chip block him or something to try to stop him down because otherwise he is going to go off and sack your quarterback because he is one of the best pass rushers in the NFL so Sean Desai knowing that he tries to put Robert Quinn on the same side of Mack and it works beautifully okay because the Browns O-line is more obviously concerned with Khalil Mack where they just allow Robert Quinn to have a free shot at the quarterback and obviously Robert Quinn using his speed here is key okay he looks very fast here he looks very explosive off the line and he goes directly to Baker Mayfield and brings him down I also want to show you guys one play from the Lions game where Sean Desai pulled a very creative stun. This is more of a sack and good play for Khalil Mack, but Robert Quinn also helped out here. So Mack is lined up all the way to the far side. He's going to try to twist in here 
and uh, you're going to see what happens, okay? So pretty much what DHC does, he's also on the line. He tries to fake a blitz inside, but he's actually going to set a pick for Mac. So that number 67 is not going to be in the play here. So DHC does a phenomenal job setting that pick, and then Mac twists inside, and he's one-on-one -on -one against a running back, okay? 32 is a running back, and putting a running back one-on-one -on -one against Khalil Mack is obviously not an ideal situation. And also, if you look at what Robert Quinn does in this play, okay? He has a fantastic speed rush. Obviously, Penny Sewell does a good job of you know, clearing the lane for uh, Jared Goff to step up. But because Mack was twisting inside, Jared Goff became easy bait for Khalil Mack, okay? And that's obviously a play that only happened because of the stunt that Sean Desai designed, okay? Using that DB at the line of scrimmage. Also, uh, the player Robert Quinn obviously helped for, um, you know, making Jared Goff actually step up there and getting Khalil Mack one-on-one -on -one against the running back. That all only happened because everybody did their job and also because of the creativity of Sean this size so you can see these stunts are really helping our pass rushers get sacks because it's creating easier ways for them to get sacks okay they don't just have to go one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two -on -two against you know the offensive line and get past them somehow like they're getting easier ways to actually get these sacks so obviously Sean this side replacing Chuck Pagano has been a big help to Robert Quinn in his production but an even bigger help I would say which is my second reason why I think Robert Quinn is doing so well this year not not so much last year is that he's actually fully healthy this season i think robert quinn seriously downplayed how injured he actually was during 2020 because he was playing with a dropped foot for the majority of 2020 you guys remember he missed some training camp games he missed the first two games of the season too because he was battling a dropped foot injury which is a very very painful injury according to what i've heard okay so that really limited his you know obviously explosion coming off the snap his speed as well because if your foot is hurting that bad like you need that to balance properly you need that to you know explode off the line so it's clear now that Quinn was really hurting and I mean respect to him because he didn't really make that as an excuse for his bad play he took ownership of not having the same production in you know in 2020 as he did the last year and having a disappointing season and he didn't really blame it on his injury at all we only know this because of rumors and stuff that's now been said about his condition from last year so it really feels like man this is the first year in a Chicago Bears uniform where Robert Quinn is truly fully healthy and it really shows up on the tape as well okay if you guys saw the sack he had uh, last game against the Lions okay so if you look at what he's doing here so obviously he explodes off the line against rookie Penesul and he bends pretty nicely there okay so he gets a nice bend and just rips all the way inside to Jared Goff and if you can see on this play I mean he's actually kind of slightly leaning backwards at one point on this play but he still kept his balance and comes in to force the fumble which is obviously a big play for the Chicago Bears because the Lions were about to score a touchdown there so you can see his speed his explosion is clearly there in this footage that was also present in the game against the Browns okay so his other sack that he got against the Browns so pretty much what he does here is he pretty much just explodes and you know gets to the outside against you know 71 with his speed and his speed only okay and he obviously didn't finish the deal here Khalil Mack kind of helped him out but obviously that pressure is a big reason why you know Baker Mayfield got sacked on this play and why you know Khalil Mack got the sack to clean it up so you can see man Robert Quinn's resurgence has completely changed the Chicago Bears defense because if you look at the sack rankings right now the Chicago Bears rank number one in the NFL in total team sacks with 15 haven't seen that since 2018 okay so obviously I hope we keep this up I hope everybody stays healthy and Robert Quinn and Khalil Mack continue dominating but if they do man this Bears defense is going to be really fun to watch this year okay the back end is getting helped out so much by our dominant pass rush because you have really young guys back there in the secondary okay you have Jalen Johnson second year player you have Kendall Wilder also a second year player and you also have a nickel in Duke Shelley who's also very inexperienced but they're they're being helped out a lot by our great pass rush and also the resurgence of Robert Quinn leave your thoughts down below guys but as always bear down <laughs>